Okay guys, welcome back. Red Mist in the house once again. We're playing a little bit of WWE Super Card. Okay, um, I don't know if you guys actually saw the video, but um, i done a quick little video because I wanted to get back into another King of the Ring game last night. Um, but in the King of the Ring rewards last night, I pulled an Undertaker, folks. That means we have got a pro. Yes, my friends, a pro Undertaker as well. This is amazing because Undertaker rocks. We've been playing with him in the RTG, so he has managed to get a couple of games, and we are doing great. We've finished off doing our Dean Ambrose, so we've kind of gone a little bit of mixed on his stats, I believe. No, we haven't. We just didn't put the tokens on, so let's just go full power, uh, toughness, and speed again. And that is happy days. And we shall unlock him. Now, we don't need to do this at all. Um, just purely because of the fact of we have a full deck of legendary pros to fill up the spaces in the RTG. Um, but, why not? Uh, we might as well level up slightly those lower legendary cards as you can see we've got quite a few uh, where's Dean Ambrose here we go uh, we've even proed a couple into silver pros just for the laugh you know um, but we're gonna go ahead and just get rid of all these cards really quickly um, because I didn't realize that we were so had so many in there otherwise I would have quickly got rid of them before we started recording um, that should be enough to pro him completely, especially with that uh, silver star gold dust in there. Okay, not quite, but good enough uh, for now. <clears throat> and I shall level him up the rest of the way off camera. Uh, we're going to quickly switch out Randy, uh, swap him, and bring back in the uh, Dean Ambrose. Just because the Dean Ambrose is actually like a few points better than Randy Orton this is the team that I've kind of switched out right now we do still have Undertaker in there this is my full deck now guys I've brought in the whole deck just because I don't need to waste time leveling anybody up anymore I've completely done it um, so it's just a case of getting that Undertaker proed and then as soon as he's proed we're going to have our uh, ninth superstar pro up there with one diva, uh, one diva pro so we've managed to get 10 survivor pros for this rtg which is really good because last rtg um i excuse me the last rtg i only had three i believe um which Sorry, I had four. I had four last time, which was my um, event Co Kofi, uh, sorry, standard Kofi, event Callisto, and event Ric Flair. And I also had Dolph Ziggler. Um, so all of the other survivors that I've managed to get there are all brand new since the last RTG was played um, I can't remember how long ago that was um, but since that one that was Daniel Bryan so what two was it two weeks ago or three yeah it's got to be two weeks ago so the legend the survivors have managed to come in really quick for me which is really good um, I am like over the moon about that guys but it's not too bad it's not too bad, you know, as I say, we, we're still grinding the 10 point games in the RTG, we're doing really good, I haven't really done too much um, gameplay right now, just because of the fact of the low stages of the RTG, they're not really exciting, um, that's also why I tend to put lower cards in as well, and level lower cards up, just so that it's not so much of a easy trip, you know. Obviously, you always put in your cards that you know you're going to win with. 
um, because you don't want to be doing like an ultra rare and then go and lose a 10 point match um, if you don't need to obviously it's bad enough when you're when I'm up at the top and I'm in survivor and I think my god if that guy just didn't proc I would have won that game you know um, so you always kind of make sure you're going to win the games but you just kind of downgrade your team a little bit so that it's a bit more fun or that's what I do um, so that it's a little bit more interesting when playing through the game you know um, but that's just me that's just me but I really hope you guys are having a great day you know I really do hope you guys are having a great day really hope you're getting on great in your king of the rings and your road to glories please comment down below tell me where you're up to tell me if you've managed to pull any great cards in the last few days i've been getting some really good pulls from the board um I'm, i seem to in this rtg i seem to be getting a lot of ultra rares and a few epics i think i've pulled like since the points that we're at i've actually managed to pull like three epic cards um a legendary manager um mr perfect which you saw me using um and i've pulled two ultra rares i believe um so it's been a really lucky king of the ring uh, rtg sorry because you don't normally pull that many cards you know, it's normally like rares for a thousand times, and then you'll get a like a super rare once. Um, so it's been good, guys. It's been really good. Um, it would just be really nice if I could pull a survivor, and even more if I could pull a survivor manager. I would be over the moon if I got a survivor manager. It would be redonkulous, boys and girls. No, I would absolutely love that. Um, but I, I think this King of the Ring uh, RTG match, I'll finish this one up and then we shall call it a day for today. And I might possibly make the videos a little bit longer for the ender stages of the uh, Road to Glory. But that's if you guys go ham on the like button for me and also subscribe for me we will make the videos longer um but there's just not really too much to sort of go putting out long videos when people just aren't watching at the moment you know once people start watching on a daily basis and really start hitting that like button for me then we'll start doing much longer videos um but for now, we'll, we'll keep them short um, and just sort of hope that you guys enjoy the content that I'm putting out there for now. Um, please put uh, comments in the bottom of stuff that you'd maybe like to see me do. Um, maybe go try and see how far I can get through the next RTG with like just rares in the deck or something. Um, let me know and I shall probably try to do the best I can um, at trying to fulfill the wishes that you would like to see happen in the game you know if I can make it true I shall try for you but I think this is actually the last game on this one here I think that's the win there it is that's the perfect game baby boy um, so we're gonna be heading out now guys but we're gonna quickly pick out the board that's a hundred, as you can see, a hundred points into Bree, and it's not Bree at all. It's Bailey, um, and we're still going very strong, guys. Uh, we'll finish up this board just for you lot, because I'm nice like that. I absolutely love you guys, so we shall quickly get rid of these, and fingers crossed that this very last pick is a survivor, but it's not going to be because it's going to be a common. Oh no, it's an uncommon. Okay, guys, but that is it. As I say, we, we're we going to be able to grind out these cards really easily. Well, obviously this card won't be that easy, but it's not going to be too bad. But that's going to be it for today, guys. So 
I really do hope you enjoyed the video. Go ham on the like button, go ham on the subscribe button, and please hit that share button for me as well. And 